Good morning, dear students. I hope you are fine and keeping well. Do take care of yourself and be safe. Today, I will be teaching you social studies, chapter 2, changes in school and neighborhood. Introduction Changes happen all the time and to all of us. We need to accept the changes around us and move further. You must have observed many changes around you. These changes may be in terms of your classroom, number of students, subjects or teachers. Children, when you was in class 2, you had a different teacher teaching you. Now you are in class 3, you have different teacher teaching you. So you are used to the teaching of Joyce ma'am. But now you have Flora ma'am. There is a change here because of the teacher. The teacher changes and then the changes come in your life. So we need to accept everything and we need to learn. Understanding changes. Changes happen all the time and to all of us. All of us have changed from small babies to grown-ups. Changes happen all the time. First, you was a little baby. Now, you are a boy. Your father, first he was a little baby, then a boy, a young boy and then an adult. So, changes keeps happening all the time. We have changed in terms of our height and appearance. Our food habits have also changed. The size and type of clothes that we wear have changed too. Changes happen to people and also to places like schools and neighborhood. So changes keeps on happening. When you was a little baby, you look different and now you are looking different. Your height increased, your food habit. Example, your mother used to give you Cirlex or maybe smashed potato or rice, khichri. But now you are able to eat everything. So the food habit has changed. The clothes, the clothes. When you was a baby, you used to wear different clothes and now you are wearing different clothes. So changes happen all the time and changes happen in places like school and neighborhood. My neighbors change. If my father is transferred to some other place, I have a different neighbor. My school changes. The changes happen all the time and we need to understand the changes. Changes in the school and neighborhood. Let us read the story of a girl named Rihanna. Rihanna lived in the town of Shanti Niketan, located near Kolkata in West Bengal. Rihanna lived in the town of Shanti Niketan. It is located near Kolkata in West Bengal. Do you know children? Where is Shanti Niketan? Shanti Niketan is Kolkata in West Bengal and it was established by Dibendranath Tagore, the father of Rabindranath Tagore. 
Oriana, she used to study in Shantiniketan. She lived in a bungalow with her parents and grandparents. So, Rihanna lived in a bungalow, in a huge bungalow, big house with her parents and grandparents. She loved playing with her friends in their garden every evening. She also enjoyed going for long walks with her grandparents. So she loved to play with her friends in the garden every evening. You love to play. During school hours, you wait for your games. Period. You wait to go for your games. You love to play with your friends, football, badminton. Same way, Rihanna loved to play in the garden with her friends every evening. She also enjoyed going for long walks. She loved to go for a long walk with her grandparents. Maybe when you go home or at home, you go for a walk with your grandparents when you have holiday. Rihanna was very fond of going out with the grandparents and enjoying the greenery. Rihanna had a green and peaceful neighborhood. Her neighborhood mostly consists of bungalows, food stalls, shops, parks and bus stops. So Rihanna had a very peaceful neighborhood. She had many plants growing in her neighborhood. She had food stall, shop, park, bus stop and many bungalows. She enjoyed living there. Rihanna's school was very close to her house. Her grandfather used to drop her to the school every day. It was a huge building with a big playground and tall trees. So Rihanna's school was very close to her house. Her, clo her school was just near her house. And her grandfather used to drop her to school every day. Every day her grandfather used to take her to school and bring her back from school. It was a huge building with a big playground and tall trees. Her school was a huge building and it had a big playground where she used to play with her friends and enjoy herself. There was greenery all around. Rihanna loved all her classes, especially the open air ones where the teachers taught the student under the shed of the tree. Now, Rihanna was very happy in that school because it was greenery all around. Rihanna loved her classes, especially when they used to have classes outside in the open air. She used to enjoy it. She loved sitting under the tree and studying. Dear student, we'll stop here. Read whatever is done. Understand everything in the chapter. And the next part of this chapter I will be doing in my next class. There are exercises given below. Please do them and if you have any problem, please discuss it in the group. Take care of yourself and be safe. Thank you and have a nice day.